Genki Call here with your campaign tasks for the week of November 8th, 2021. We are in Wild Plains this week. And before we get to the campaign tasks, let me go over the things we need to do first thing after reset and on a Monday. And that is go into the shop, go into resources, grab your spoils of war and get as many as you can afford. There's a limit of 10, unfortunately, but this is a fantastic value. So always grab your campaign keys as soon as you can. Uh, so you don't forget. I would hate to forget that. Secondly, let's head in here under weekly event. We have the new troop of the week. This week, it is the storm chaser and the storm chaser will destroy a excuse me, destroy a row for each elemental enemy, then deal 44 scatter damage with no boost. Okay. Allied Tauros, yeah, summon a firestorm, okay, and gain one magic. Eh, I mean, he's an epic, but we must have him to uh, mythic level. We must have it to mythic level because... Even if you're lower level and you're nowhere near needing mythic level troops to get your power levels up, eventually you're going to need them and you're going to be kicking yourself for not doing this if you can afford it. If you don't have the glory for it, totally understandable. But as soon as you can afford to start doing this every week, I highly suggest it. Plus you get all of these other resources, which is always very nice. So I've got that one up to mythic level so I can get my power level up. I, you know, I'm caught up on the mythics right now. But yes, I will be getting to the campaign tasks. But I'm going to lose my flow if I go there right now. So let's head into Wild Plains and I'll show you what you can get with your event keys. Uh, ah, let's see. Uh, let's go here. Wild Plains troops. So let us sort by base rarity. We have two mythics here in Wild Plains. One is a favorite of mine, the Lord of Slaughter. He is so fun to use. He creates six brown gems and converts all of the brown gems into doom skulls to blow up the board. It's so fun. Then he inflicts one to two bleeds and one to two death marks on random enemies, which is, you know, always nice. But usually you're going to kill him off with the skulls anyway. The very cool thing about the Lord of Slaughter is he only has 25% skull damage reduction. So putting him up front, he's a little squishy, but he does have a 100% chance to ignore armor. That means true damage with skulls. And when you're using Doom, Doom Skulls, this is crazy amount of damage. It's fantastic. I love him. So he is one that you can get this week. And even though you may be saving your event keys for Nexus, you know, the new Nexus troops, I absolutely recommend going for the Lord of Slaughter if you've got the event keys to spare because he is a lot of fun, assuming that you like doing uh, skull damage. Uh, also, the other mythic here I don't have yet, and I want him. Petrus the Bull. He does splash damage to an enemy boosted by his attack, life, and armor. It's two to one, which means it's half of the total of his armor and health nope attack life and armor so add these threes up and divide by two so 36 plus these three divided you know what i just said so that's pretty cool um and the splash damage will do you know you hit an enemy here and it's going to do full damage to this enemy and the one above and below will get 50 percent damage uh, also let's see uh, reduce skull damage by 25% and, you know, gain extra stats when you match red gems, which is very nice. So then we'll head over here and let me show you the rest of what we have here. Now, four of these troops you will not be able to get with your event keys. The ones from the labyrinth. That is King Minos. Do, 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 do. Mechator. Yes, Mechator. Oh, let's, let's upgrade this guy real quickly. Squirrel, hey! Yes, I got distracted. I wanted to get my extra level 20 here. All right. Done. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Ah, Rhinotaur and Horned Guardian. Is that four? Yes, that must be four. So those four you cannot get here with your event keys. You will have to go to the Underworld and use your Chaos Shards to get them. Everything else here, 
you're good to go. Now, when I was low level, I really enjoyed Hydra and Queen Moonclaw. Haven't used them in ages. Um, Chief Stronghorn, you know, he's okay. Um, I just generally don't use these particular legendaries unless I'm doing an event. Um, just in general, uh, the Earth Caller is very nice. Um, but again, something I only use during events. Mongo can be really fun in arena, but you don't have to own him to have him in an arena. Sunweaver, you know, Wild Fang. Now, Wild Fang is very useful in Guild Wars when you are fighting yellow enemies because triple damage to yellow enemies and that is very powerful. Very, very powerful and double uh, skull damage, so... Wild Fang is a good one to have. I like the Gorgon a lot. Minotaur or Minnow Gore. <laughs> That's funny. Boulette, I hate fighting, but have never actually used him otherwise. So, I mean, there's some good troops here. But in particular, if you're going to use event keys, I really recommend going for the Lot of Slord Slaughter and uh, Ketris the Bull. I'm going to be trying for Ketris the Bull a little bit later myself. Because I want it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we've got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and save the campaign tasks for the end of the video. I usually do them at the start, but might as well continue along this line. So what else do we have this week? Tomorrow, Tuesday, we have the new pet rescue, which is... Uh, I can't remember, actually. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant Tuesday. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. On Tuesday, we'll have the Faction Assault, the Labyrinth, which I was just talking about. It is the one faction that I hate more than any other. However, I'll still be live streaming with a bunch of teams for you on Tuesday as usual. Then on Wednesday, we'll have the Pet Rescue, which will be the Evil Eclair from Silverglade, which is weird. I mean, we've been doing... You'd think it would be from Wild Plains, since we're in Wild Plains this week, but no. Apparently, we've got the Evil Eclair from Silverglade this week. Um, and then on Thursday, of course, we have Shaman, the Shaman Class Trial. And Friday, we're doing Raid Boss. So definitely got a lot of stuff going on this week. The, uh, the God Slayer for Zajin, where we're going, is Hell Cackle. And then on, oh gosh, next week is going to be crazy, crazy, crazy. I may have to do four videos next weekend just to, or not weekend, but next week just to explain the new events that we've got going on. So it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. <sighs> All right. So let's get to the campaign task stuff. Uh, not adventure board. I meant campaign. Hello, campaign. I've already done a few of these. So uh, for campaign, we've got some fun stuff. And oh my gosh, I just realized that you can see everything I've been doing here. <laughs> I forgot that I had it set up so you could see. So you could see what I was looking at. And that's awesome. Anyway, campaign tasks. Gold. Get 44 Tauros wins, uh, which you can do in Wild Plains. Kill Frostfeather five times, which, you know, the weekly event is the best place to do that, I'm thinking. For Silver Tasks, use a Vault Key to kill three Treasure Gnomes. Match 300 Green Gems in battle. Get 45 Red Kills and use an Axe Weapon for 15 wins. For Bronze, craft one Red Summoning Stone. Explore Wild Plains once at a difficulty of 3+. plus. Use the Horned Banner for four wins. That is, of course, the banner for Wild Plains. Use the Shaman Class four times. No, for four wins. Um, complete one Adventure Board. i got to show you the Adventure Board in a minute. Earn 200 gold in battle. Use a Wild Plains Team for... Four wins, open 25 glory chests, complete one delve at level 40 plus, and open two event chests. So, I gotta show you this. It's super cool. For our adventure board. It is the Gems of War anniversary, and they're giving us deeds and an imperial deed. And not only that, we've got a second imperial deed and fire deeds. Yay! 
two Imperial Deeds on the event board today. So that is super cool. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. No, I'm not. That's for another video. All right. I think that's everything I needed to go over, although I still feel like I'm forgetting something. Y'all let me know in the comments down below if I missed something. or if, Of course, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. I will be back with both the Soul Forge video and um, the one for the world event coming up soon. Please like and subscribe and be back with you shortly. Bye!